Hey, thanks for finding your moment to move. My name is Garen, and today we're gonna to be doing a ladder flow body weight workout. And what I mean by that is we're gonna create a pattern, and we're gonna go through it one time, work out how it works, and then we're gonna add three reps, and then we're gonna add five reps to build strength, make it nice and strong, and get your body feeling great. So when you're ready, meet me in a hands and knees position. We'll go through a brief warm up, and we'll find our moment to move. <music> So we're gonna come into hands and knees position, uh, shoulders stacked over the hands, knees stacked over the hips, and we're just gonna take some cat cows. So on the inhale, we're gonna drop the belly down, pull the shoulder blades onto the back, try to keep the arms straight, and then bring the chin up to the sky. And on the exhale, we're gonna push into the ground, doming the upper back, tuck that tailbone under, contract the core, and come through to a cow pose, and push into your hands, dome the upper back, pull the shoulder blades down the back, cat pose. And just do two, three more on your own, moving as fluidly as you can, maybe a little bit quicker. Here's two. Just gonna waken up that spine, get us moving before we really get into our flow and build some strength. And then come back to neutral. Maybe give the wrist a little bit of a shake out and then we're just again gonna place the hands down. We're just gonna slightly internally rotate the hands and we're gonna shift forward and back just to waken up the wrist a little bit more before we start utilizing them. And then we're gonna externally rotate the hands and then do the same thing, rock forward and back three, four times. Try to push into that index finger and thumb to create a little bit more stability and not cause yourself any long-term wrist problems. And then flip the hands towards your feet. So the fingertips are facing that way and then sit back onto the heels and again, rock forward and back. The palms come up, that's perfectly fine. And then from there, we'll just shake out the hands. And then we're gonna start in a squat position, a horse stance. So we're gonna have the feet a little bit wider apart than normal. And then we're gonna go lower down into our horse stance. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna internally rotate one hip, externally rotate the other. And we're gonna to pivot to the right hand side. And this goes to the left's coming in, right's going out. And then we're gonna come into a crescent lunge or a lunge position. And then from there, we're gonna slowly lower down, place the left hand down as the knee touches the ground. Then bring the knee up into the chest, extend it through, lower down onto your bum. And then slowly roll onto the back for a little bit of extra core work. And as we get there, you can either bring the foot in or you can keep it out. And then you can come up into a one-legged bridge or a two-legged bridge lower down you're going to roll onto the outside edge of your left side of your body and we're going to push into the ground with the right foot extend away for a nice hip escape extend back come up onto your elbow place the hands on the outside edge of the foot shift the body forward and then push up for a one-legged push one side push up i guess they're called and then from there we're coming back into an extended kick through and this time we're going to bring the knee up to the tricep, place it down, and here we are back in our horse stance. And this time we're gonna flip round and go the other way. So right leg's gonna come in, left leg's gonna go out. We're gonna lower down, hand down at the same time. Extend arm away, bring the knee up into the chest, lower down onto your bum. Again, with control onto your back. Take the two leg or the one leg variation of bridge pose, push up. And as we lower back down, we're gonna roll onto the right side of our body and contract that core, coming in for a hip escape. So you're gonna bring that knee in, or the leg in as it's straight, extend away from you, come up onto that elbow, place both hands inside or outside the right hip, shift the body weight over the hand, and then push up into that one, into that side push up, extend the arm away, bring it into the chest, and then up into that right tricep, step outside the right hand and rise up back into your horse stance. That's our flow, a lot to gather, but I'll keep talking through it 
and this time we're going to add some three reps into each of those positions. So we're going to start in our horse stance, we're going to pivot in and out, we're going to lower down, touch the ground, come back up, touch the ground, come back up. This time we're going to touch the ground, place the hand outside, we're going to kick through and then bring it into the chest. Kick through, bring it into the chest and then kick through, lower down onto the bum, lower down onto your back. Again, take the bridge variation that works for you, squeeze the glutes and up. There's one, two, three. This time, lower back down, extend the leg away from you and we'll take three of those hips, hip escapes. So contracting the side body, extend away, pull it back in. So you're using your hamstring muscles on the right leg as well. Push it in, extend away, come up onto that elbow, place the hands outside the edge of the left leg, shift the torso over the hands and push up and lower back down. There's one, there's two, and there's three. And then this left leg is gonna to come to that left tricep and extend away. Left tricep, extend away. Left tricep, down to the ground, back into the horse squats. And again, so we flip round to the other side, left leg out, right leg in, down and back up. There's one, touch the ground. There's two, touch the ground. There's three, hand outside the mat, extend away, and come into that kick through and then bring the knee back into the chest and extend away. There's two and there's three. Lower down onto your bums, slowly lower down onto your back. And again, take whatever bridge variation you need. There's two and there's three. Lower that leg away and we'll take three of those hip escapes. So you come up onto the shoulder, pull the body in and wrap. There's two, extend away, and there's three, extend away, come up onto that elbow, hands down to the ground, torso over the hands, and push up. There's one, there's two, and there's three, and this time, come back into your kick through, extended kick through, and then knee to tricep, kick it away, there's one, there's two, there's three, place the foot down, lower down into your horse squats. And here it is, final round, five reps. Let's see how we flow. Right knee out, left leg in, and lower down. There's one, two, three, four, five, down, hand down, arm away, into the chest. There's one, back to the chest. There's two, back to the chest. There's three, back to the chest. There's four, so really contracting that side core. There's five, I think. Lower down onto your bum and then onto your back. The bridge variation that's working for you. There's one, two, three, four, and five. Lower the hips down, extend that leg away. Come onto the outside of your left side body and we'll take five of those hip escapes. There's one, two, so make sure you're on your left forearm, left shoulder, four, five, extend away, hands down torso over the hands and we'll do five of these side push-ups. Two, three, four, five. Come onto left hand, right foot and we'll take those kick through to tricep. There's one, two, three, Four, last one, five, step the foot down, back into that horse stance, 
and then we're going to go left this time left leg out right leg in and lower down that's one two three four five right leg outside right hand outside and then kick through into the chest kick through two three four and five lower down onto the bum roll onto the back foot up to the sky as i'm taking that one legged diversion of bridge there's two three four five lower that leg down with control coming onto that right shoulder hovering the hips and we'll do that hip escape there's one there's two, three, four, five. Hands outside the body, torso over the hands, and we'll push up. There's one, two, three, four, five. Torso up into the tricep and extend away. There's one, two, really working into that shoulder mobility as well, four, as well as creating quite a lot of strength, five, place the foot down, come back into that horse stance, and that was our flow. So let's just do a brief cool down, get the body open a little bit more. So as we're already in this horse stance, we're now gonna stand up nice and straight, Maybe walk the feet out a little bit further, peel the toes in, heels out slightly. And we're just gonna take a forward fold and stretch those hamstrings as we've utilized them quite a bit today with our bridge pose and those hip escapes. So tuck the chin to the chest, take a few little pulses and you may wanna walk the hands over to the left leg and get a deeper stretch. If you can't grab the toes or the feet, just grab the outside of the left calf and we're going to stretch through that side body with all those kick throughs we really uh, worked into that side body today so it's a nice stretch to have you can even give yourself a gentle little pull in your hand to get a little bit deeper into the stretch and then we'll sway over to the other side and do the same thing Come back to center, turn around, place the knees onto the ground, and we're gonna give those shoulders some love as well. So you can stand, make sure the hips are stacked over the knees, extend the arms away from you. You can come up onto your fingertips. We're just simply gonna drop the chest down as low as you can. Palms can be flat on the ground. Push into the hands and you might feel a deeper stretch. And come up onto your fingertips. And again, you might feel a deeper stretch. Find the variation that works for you. You can place your forehead to the ground, chin to the ground, but just stretch out them shoulders. Just come out of it. Give your hands a little bit of a shake. And there it was, a ladder flow body weight workout. So I hope you've enjoyed it. We've added in repetitions, try to make it quite strong, but also accessible for most people. Um, and let me know how you go. Um, thanks for joining me at A Moment to Move. Please hit that like, subscribe, and leave a comment if you enjoyed the, enjoyed the flow. Got plenty of other workouts on the channel. And uh, thank you for joining me at A Moment to Move, and I'll catch you on the next one.